Okay, so this is the degree show for uh, 2017, and it's different from other years. Every year has its own characteristic, and I would say that this year there's a kind of a there's a kind of a quietness to the show. Um, there's not sort of loud voices necessarily, but some of the uh, strongest shows are uh, quite subtle, and uh, I've noticed that people have been coming in and feeling that as if there's a sense of peace around, which is kind of nice. So it's, a, it's got a different mood to some of the other degree shows. Um, students have done very well, they've been well organised, um, and I hope everybody, when they come around, enjoys it. Third year student and um, my work's you know, on the fifth floor. I think it's all come together quite nicely. I think it's quite a good show. Uh, there's a lot of varied stuff up here and it's in the basement as well. So, my name is Aliu Banjaro. I'm a final year student. That's third year, why not? And uh, this is our um, final, pro uh, final exhibition, degree show. And personally, my work is mainly like paintings and stuff. That's what I'm exhibiting for my final project. And um, yeah, this is the outcome and it's going well so far and I hope it does till the end. Yeah. Um, it's the graphic design show. It's uh, really come together amazing this year. We um, we changed things around a little bit so that we uh, had an even greater emphasis on it. And the guys have discovered the colour orange, and they've painted everything orange. Um, and we've put together a show which has an amazing collection of work in it. We're super proud. Uh, it's a big cohort with so many talented students in. Um, we've got web designers who've got jobs out there. We've got. Um, Guys are winning Penguin Design Awards. We've got some really wonderful work on the show, um, from books to websites to motion graphics to campaigns, all sorts of really good stuff. I'll just say how excited I am to finally be part of my own degree show. I've visited all of the ones that I could possibly in the past, and I'm, it's nice to have my own one now. For our show, we make sure there's real emphasis on portfolios on industry, making sure that our guys not only put on a good exhibition but also this works for them to get them in front of the eyes of employers and that this is a transition for them from being exciting students to being exciting workers out there, maybe in post-grad, most of them going to go off hopefully and be uh, design professionals. Oh, it's figurative. It's, uh, I've been talking about the different aspects of being a tall woman which I naturally, I obviously am. I'm six foot five at the moment with my heels on. I've been making installations over the year and drawings. Um, behind you, um, the mostly personal stuff about anxieties and personal issues. So, and I've been using natural materials, so of like um, logs and papers, and um, you're also using like uh, voice of my mother. I've um, talking like when we were kids. This is called Dwell, and um, it's about um, the, it's a double thing of meaning about the how we have an object as a, as a dwelling and also how we dwell on things in our mind so like we have things that are, um, are feelings of abandonments and things like that like when we were younger and, and things like that stay in our mind so it's about things like that so when you go inside of it you feel like isolation and everything so it's supposed to it's just a play on words as well at the same time yeah. My one is called Mindset. I did it with my partner, Kenny Tran, 
who is in here at the moment, but our one is aimed at students who are just finishing up in college and secondary school, who are a bit confused about what path to take to get to their career. Normally, they'll go on sites like UCAS or other um, prospective sites to see how to lead to their career. Our one was targeted at them so that we have two, um, three different subjects, one that took a university role, one that took a apprenticeship role, and one that went straight into work. Here we are at the 2017 Architecture Degree Show. I'm really proud of our students this year. They've had all kinds of challenges working in the city of Coventry. Um, in a condensed period on a very challenging site and what we're really impressed about this year is the diversity and beauty and crafting of the projects with the city. So do come and have a look, come with us and we'd be happy to show you around. All the groups were divided in five. There were five groups, and we had to. We all had a different section. But there was a history one. There was an activity, and there were you know, pathways and materiality as well. Different kind of groups, and these are the three, the three boards of uh, the three boards of the different groups. And this one here is the history one, which is. It looks at the, um, the history of Broadgate and all the different the, the, the timeline as well, and then how it looked in the different years. 